Uh, hello, welcome back to another Bob's Burgers reaction. We're on season 7, episode 9. Bob, actually. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I have absolutely no clue what to expect from this. Like, the title really practically gives me absolutely nothing. For some reason, the only thing I can think of, and it's obviously got nothing to do with this episode, but you know those people that, like, every time you say something wrong on the internet, they're like, they comment, um, actually, it's this, this, this. For some reason, that's what the title's reminding me of. Even though that, you know, that's obviously not related. I mean, it's obviously a bob focus episode, though, which, you know, I feel like for the fact that Bob's name's in the title, we don't get that many episodes focused strictly on Bob. I feel like the show's more focused on the kids now, with the Bob and Linda being the B-plot. But let, let's just get into this. Stupid Wait, what the fuck? Okay, this is another episode that doesn't have an intro. Is that the fucking... Weird, the skating guy that's like in so many episodes. Oh, it's a Valentine's Day episode. I forgot about Valentine's Day. Be the fig. Here's your card, my little Valentina. Okay. Oh no. Oh wow. What? Uh, what do you have? Diary or something? Stomach. Yes. We may have had a little friendly leftover chili eating contest last night. <laughs> oh, that actually sounds kind of fun, though. To be honest. I mean, even though you probably shit a lot. Are you sure you don't want to stay home? No. Anything can happen to um, you. Um, I would suggest love, staying home, but I guess, you know, off. she's Ooh, out of everyone oh since the most into Valentine's right, Day. Tina. Nothing stopped me from buying your father a box of chocolates from Hell a yes. parking lot. Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds odd. Step right up and buy one of my mini flower what the love fuck? for your Valentine's Day. Okay, what who the hell would actually weed? buy them? A weed is just the right plant growing in the wrong place. Okay, I then. I for a buck each. Who's in? Hey, Tina. Hey, Jimmy Jr. Oh. Do you have any Valentine's plans? Are you free today at lunch? Okay, they seem to be doing a lot more shit with Jimmy Jr. and Tina. You meet me in the gymnasium at lunch? Okay. I'm already. Great. Well, what you're wearing is fine. Unless you brought something else. Okay, yes. Because I'm sure you're going to dress up for school. Yeah. yeah. Don't be late and brush your teeth. Oh my gosh, she's going to shit herself. Oh, my stomach. Oh, <laughs> That's like, is she actually going to shit herself? This is literally selling weeds. <laughs> yeah, that is actually fucking insane that people are buying it. Yeah, love can really make people do some wacky things, huh? <laughs> hey, are you going to be at lunch today? Well, I made a reservation. Why? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Just checking. Check. Just pretending to check Okay. Anyway, uh, I should be going. Bye. Bye. Poor kid picked up the wrong inhaler. <laughs> Wait, does he ever think Louise? Valentine's Day, Bob. Well, she's always wanted me to learn how to ballroom dance. I guess in case we ever go back to, in time. To a ball, yes. Bob, you've got time for a real class. My Zumba is at a studio and they teach ballroom there. Uh, if really? If you you'd be like Gene Kelly. If okay, Gene Kelly then. only had one dance lesson. That's a good idea, Teddy. I, I should go. Where is it? I'll go with you. I'm back with pickles. Okay. I'm gonna start cutting the- First thing I was gonna say, why the fuck does she have a bunch of pickles and I remember, oh, it's a burger restaurant. No shit, they have burgers. Gotta go on an errand and it may or may not have to do with your gift. <laughs> He's coming up so with last romantic. second. Yes. Bob, tell me what it is. <laughs> it's like that episode where he brought the love tester thing and then it turned out it wasn't even Linda that he went on the date with. Sorry, oh, yes. ballroom's been canceled. The what? Why? The waltzed right out of here. Get oh. it? Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, Jeez. Teddy, let's go. We've tried. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. They offer other classes here, you know? Uh I mean, yeah, like, what What other dances, though, would be, you know, quote-unquote romantic? I'll just take whatever class starts next. We'll take whatever class okay. starts next. Really? You think I'm not going to take this class with you? <laughs> I did think that. <laughs> yes, honestly, so did I. Can I get one bouquet of mini flower love weeds, please? Be I still don't understand why you, you would want to buy the fucking what weeds. Here's the lucky ducky. Let's just say we've been friends for a while, but oh. it's time to take it to the next okay. level. Okay. You may level two. I feel like Louise oh, is going to yeah. be into this. Oh my god. Woody's going to give me love weed for Valentine's. <laughs> it's not even flowers as well. It looks like it's like, what's it called? Those dandelion, like, puffball things. Yeah, like, like someone. Louise? Ah, I mean. Tina? Yeah, I, I've been in here all morning. Oh, that's unfortunate. I hate to tell you this, but nothing, and I mean nothing, can stop love. I mean, I guess so. No. <laughs> yeah, diary. Welcome to hip hop dance class with Oh, uh, yes. See why the are you way walking? I'm walking with one of my arms lower than I was about to say, why are you walking like you just shat yourself? Cashier didn't like my baggy pants. Okay, but then. I didn't care because that's hip hop. Sure. Yeah, we need to get out yeah this is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever been a part of. What? Oh, I see we have some new students in class. Sup? Sup? 
ma'am. I bet you normally sit on a chair the front way, like oh. everyone else. Yes. But not in this class. In this <laughs> class, you turn that chair. Yes, because that is the coolest thing a person could do. Sit on the chair backwards. Yep. Right, mm -hmm. right. I, I, I yes. got it. Nice pop. Okay, everybody. There's going to be some profanity coming at you. Oh, hell so yes. Profanity. You can't handle the B word. <laughs> Time to unattract. Okay, oh, then. Hey, buddy. Hey, Louise. Quick question. Do you like boogers? Um, <laughs> What? I've my bugs all morning. I mean, I sure. Love them. I was wondering if anyone else was into boogers. Oh, okay. Okay. No. <laughs> Do you want to try one of mine? Maybe mine. <laughs> I love the way he's just like, yeah, no. So what can I get you? You want a wet one, a dry one? Okay. Uh, That's actually is kind of gross. Sick. Great. But you know what? I gotta say, the whites your eyes are bright, your fingernails are strong and healthy. Maybe there's something to this eating booger. Okay, I mean, I guess that's a nice way of putting it. See you at lunch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, doing good. Yeah, apparently. Feeling confident, feeling cool. Starting As you've got diarrhea. Oh, God, are you fucking the kidding? Was too much. No strutting. Why did you even bother coming? I mean, I guess the Jimmy Junior thing. It made it somewhat worth it, but still, what the fuck? Junior, oh my god, she's actually Remember going to shit herself. Remember group that came last week to do a presentation? You mean thrills, not pills? Yeah, they did a number on me. I couldn't believe the national statistics. Well, okay. they left behind all their props, including this trampoline. <laughs> is that, so so it's the only reason why. Sky kiss. Oh, hell yes. A uh, what? A sky kiss. Team See, I fucking had a feeling that it wasn't even like this, something to do with Valentine's Day. And then we kiss. You want I mean to bounce on that trampoline? Oh wait, never mind. Nah, 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 nah. What? <laughs> why are why yeah, are you what? Nah, nah, nah. Is there a problem? I'm I'm just trying to tie my shoe. That's not hip hop. Oh hip my god, feet. really? You're... How the fuck are you meant to dance with untied shoelaces though? Uh, I'm just trying to learn how to dance as a gift for my wife for Valentine's Day. Well, that's actually incredibly sweet. Um, thank you. <laughs> that's the way he's fucking moving his arm to. I, I can't tell whether that's incredible or weird. We can do this. We can beat this guy. Can Teddy, you? We don't know any hip hop. <laughs> yes. We do. It's inside us. I now mean, sure. Your shoes, B word. Let's do this. Oh, yes. B word. Hey, Louise. I have something very important to ask Louis, you. Let me stop you right there. I was just going to. Look, no, I get it. Okay. We live in a commercial culture. <laughs> it's in the movies. It's in all the. I mean, she's not wrong, though. Listen, Louise, I wanted to ask you to give this love weed and this card to Chloe Barbie. Oh, I got a feeling that maybe what? that yeah, wasn't the case. Chloe Barbie after lunch, right? I, yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Because she's the most beautiful girl in the world. Okay. She smells like so I mean, I don't feel like that this wasn't the case. Because the way he was talking to Louise before, it honestly sounded like it was like, it, you know, in a friend's way. So Rudy likes Chloe Barbash and not me. What a relief. Oh, hey, Louise. <laughs> trying to yeah, you did sound very happy about that though, Louise. Chloe freaking Barbash? Rudy might as well like a box of packing peanuts. <laughs> Okay. Oh, fuck. There's nothing in there. Okay, well, wow, what do you want that you... Model all worked up about. Yes. Yo, yo, it's battle Okay, time. I'm incredibly... I'm very interested to see how this battle goes. Uh, yes. Is this it? I can't <laughs> tell if they started yet. Yeah, honestly, it just looks like he's making this up on the spot. Oh, my God. Okay. Ma, it's time to teach these LL Fool J's how to dance. Okay, then. Chloe, what the fuck was the point? Really, he wanted me to give them to you. And the card. Great. Thanks. That's it? <laughs> don't you want to read the card? Mm, no, I don't think she cares. Ooh. Okay, what was that <laughs> hair flip? Thanks. I use it when I take a shower. Okay, okay class, then. Today we'll be dissecting a... Wait, who's this teacher? He, he, has he been in it before? He looks familiar. Yeah, you're here. Let's do this. Jimmy Jr., I walk slowly and carefully back to tell you that I can't do this sky kiss with you. My heart says yes. But my butt says no. <laughs> okay, I'm honestly surprised yeah, she's just straight up admitting this. A little bit better for me. No, just shout it out. I'm on a trampoline. I'm not coming down. I have <laughs> diarrhea. Okay, I have horrible diarrhea. Okay. If I jump up and down, it could explode. Gross. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that she would actually fucking admit this. Uh, uh, yeah, at this point, you should have just stayed home. Then people wouldn't have known so you that she had, yeah, you had diarrhea. But listen. Now we begin Operation Kiss Chloe Barbie. Okay, yeah, really, I'm sorry. I don't think that's going to happen. Do you really think she likes you? Like, like likes you? Um, yeah, she made it pretty clear. Okay. Louise. She passes me notes in class all the time. Check it out. Dear cutie bear, you look adorbs today. Was oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Quiz? Oh. Yeah. oh god, I feel so bad for this kid. The jig is up, 
I know what you're doing, Chloe. What are you talking about, Louise? I know that you've been acting flirty with regular-sized Rudy just to get his quiz answers. Rudy's a big boy. If he feels like giving me the answers, that's up to him. Yeah, but you're still fucking manipulating him into doing it. It's still pretty fucked. It doesn't make it any better. Louise, he isn't the only boy that gave me weeds okay. today. This is from Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Ishihara. Who the he fuck is that? He beanie babies at the last town. Oh, yes, that sounds, you know, amazing. And you're gonna suck it up. Yeah, I honestly don't think that she's gonna be able to get him to. Okay, honestly, I did not expect the way to actually get into like a fight with someone nearly. I mean, there was no punches thrown, but still close enough. <laughs> okay, Tina, walking like that's not gonna help. Oh my god, bro, how much shit does this teacher fucking steal? What is huh. she doing? Love, it looks like you can't be stopped. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, Jimmy Jr., I can't jump up and down, but I can. I mean, I don't think she found the solution, okay, I guess. That's actually quite yeah, impressive yeah. that she managed the to find and aren't the, the fucking thing. that she could actually walk on these stilts. Bob's Burgers. Hi, Linda. It's your Valentine. Can you come outside? Your gift is here. Okay. We're about oh, to see oh Bob do God. this fucking oh, hip hop oh, dance. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what's going on? Why do you look like that? <laughs> oh my hey god. Hey there, Teddy. Nice boombox. Thanks, Bob. What the Don't fuck? Paint. Why are you two acting weird? What's going on? I, I mean, they're actually not too bad, though, to be fair, considering they only just got one lesson. <laughs> Bobby, did you take a dance class? I yes. Mind if we hop in that okay. Day? What? <laughs> All these people are just gonna fucking join in randomly. Okay, never mind. Hey, Louise, where's Chloe? She's Louis, not coming, Rudy. Tell you something. She's not coming. Um, did did she not get my car? She did. And, um, but she's still not coming. I mean, do you, do you get what I'm saying? Not really. Oh. oh God, Rudy. Chloe doesn't want to be your Valentine. But what, what about all those notes? She was just being a using prick. Chloe doesn't like you. But who cares, right? I guess I care. Yeah, if he does. Stop it! Stop caring! Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think that's easier said than done. I guess I was silly to think I could get a kiss on Valentine. Okay, yeah. well, shit, I, don't, I honestly didn't expect that. <laughs> well, I guess everyone's getting the fucking kiss on Valentine's. <laughs> okay, I get with the weed mermaid lady. Whoa. Jesus uh, Christ. If you tell anyone about <laughs> this, uh -huh. I will end you. Okay. I think I'm sweating. Me, coming through. Oh my god. Surely that's fucking like the fact that she hasn't fallen off and like broken her neck for that is uh, Um, how is she meant to be sitting? <laughs> Linda, Linda, oh my god, it's fucking Gail, of oh, course. Oh, let me say, let me say. What proofs? What's yeah, what's what, what is happening? Professional pictures oh. Mr. Business. oh my god, the, Mr. Business, the fucking cat. How could I forget? Ian said we'd need him if we wanted Mr. Business to be taken seriously for the chef cat cat food audition. What? The what? Who, what? Who's Ian? The cat agent, Bob. Okay, then apparently that's a thing. No, you had a cat agent. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, and I, met a cat I forgot agent about the fact that the cat's name was Mr. Business. I don't know. The super fag, and he thinks Mr. Business has what it takes to be the next spokes cat for Chef Cat Cat. Okay. Bro. You know, Chef Cat. I mean, I guess that's why cats have have need the fucking professional photos taken. By the way, Lynn, I need to borrow just a little more money from you oh, to cover God. the shipping costs. Are you fucking portraits. kidding me? They have to go in something called overnight mail. Overnight mail. <laughs> Why are you saying that like that's a big like amazing unknown concept? Gail needs to borrow more money. Yeah, Lynn, a couple. Yeah, how much money has she borrowed? Money. She did. Oh, it was nothing. It was barely nothing. It was, it was okay. two hundred twenty-two. Oh my God. Okay, that is a lot. That, no, no, it wasn't. That. I fucking hope Gail pays it back. I thought we decided to pull back on lending Gail money. Yes. Oh, did we? Yes. But she hardly ever asked for money. What? Um, I yeah, she, I can see, I can see her, you know, asking a lot. For rug shampoo, control top panty, a magic bullet blender. Which is kind of fucked, because obviously, it's Bob and Linda obviously aren't, like, rich or anything. Boob. So, Fine. constantly, and the lend her money would be a lot. Tina Hunt, can you grab me a trash bag? Sure. Whoa, look at this. A box. Yes, hey, amazing. Wow. I want a box. Why does Tina get to have a box? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Gail must have left that here the last time she brought a cat's over. This cat okay. really does look like Mr. Business. Honestly, I honestly for a second thought it was. This guy is definitely scamming Gail. You know yeah, what? I mean, I'm gonna go talk maybe, to maybe, tomorrow and see if I can maybe get not. Money back. 
Aww. Imagine if it's just a Mr. Fucking Big Show that's that really the manager excited. or some Oops, shit. I got it. Hmm. This stuff smells kind of good. No, do not eat the fucking cat food. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it can't taste that good. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's oh. getting more into the okay. Surely that can't be good for a person. Are you Ian Amberson? Guilty as charged, I'm afraid. Well, my name is Bob Belcher, and I think you may be taking advantage of my sister-in-law. <laughs> She's a grown woman and it's her body. Wait. Um, I'm sorry, fucking what? I don't know. Is, is your sister-in-law named Karen? No, Gail. Okay. Again, that raises so many fucking questions. What the hell? <laughs> oh, good, good. That is good. Ew, this guy's Karen, creepy. by the way. For the record, made the first move. If anything, she's taking advantage of me. Anyway, okay, uh, then. Um, wife yeah, so that's just a fucking straight up just self-report. Okay, very smart investment, of course. Her cat is a dead pip for Chef Cat. Well, it turns out she isn't going to use those pictures, so I'd like to collect a refund from you. Wait, she's not going to use them? Well, she'd be a fool not... I mean, yeah, honestly, I actually agree that she might be able to actually win this competition thing. Look, I see what you're doing. You're taking advantage of vulnerable cat ladies okay. and overcharging I mean, I, 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 I could understand why Bob thinks this, but I genuinely think this guy might be a manager. A considering... Alone when he was chef. I don't know, he doesn't look really that sketchy. Look, you can ask anyone in the pet agent game about me. I'm the real deal. Okay, this I mean, competition I, will be I the guess maybe he is. People are coming in from all... But I genuinely think that game could actually win this, considering how much that cat... Look like Mr. Business. Okay, gonna go to the cat agent with Gail for Mr. Business's first training. Oh yes. Just heard he has an official audition time. Next. Are they even gonna be able to train the cat to do this? Considering I'm guessing his at least works. several Gail years old. Way to earn her own money, and she Wait, does she not currently have a way to earn her own money? Well, how much money are we talking about? Ian said Chef Cat made forty thousand dollars a oh year. Oh my god. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's like Chumba Wumba money. I am very excited to announce my new role as Mr. Business's business manager. <laughs> Congratulations. Sure. Yeah, my fee is 30%. No sure. I Fuck me, that would actually be a lot. I want a great deal on a quality mattress. Good, PT. Oh, does PT have an audition coming up? Actually, PT did the commercial in 2002. Oh, okay. Once an animal okay. is trained to do something, they tend to never give up the behavior. <laughs> That's kind of fucking depressing, though, when you think about it. Until their owner abandons them on your doorstep. Oh my right, god, PT? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I want a great deal on a quality mattress. <laughs> All right, so I've placed some treats here, here, and here. Uh, that will lure him to hit the mark. So what about the that this cat's not going to actually do this? And let's see how we do. Uh, on three. Oh, do. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, this cat in that, like, one Thanksgiving episode last season seemed a bit, wa like, a bit wild. Just with the running off and that. And attacking Bob, so I'm not that surprised. Oh yeah, my god, she's still eating the, the grill, fucking oh eating the fucking cat food. Are you food. eating cat food? Yes. No. It's it's all over your face. Let me try. Oh my. <laughs> Honestly, Jane seems like the type that would actually un enjoy this. How'd it go? Uh not so good. Yeah, he attacked the person. What, what happened? Mr. Business assaulted Ian. Ian said unless we could get Mr. Business to knock the spice jar into the pot ourselves, we should probably forget the whole thing. I mean, what? yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, well, we tried. Yes. Yeah, I don't think you should give up at this point. At least try and trade it. I feel like Bob's going to be the one that takes charge of this. Just get back in the crate. Whoa, Dad. What the fuck? Did exactly what you said. Yeah, that's actually you kind of insane. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you're really good at that. I almost got in the crate. <gasps> what the fuck? It, what are you turning into a cat now that you're eating the cat food? You could be his trainer. Honestly, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe Bob could. And I bet if you could train him to knock over the jar, Ian would still represent us. I mean, I I'd need to take my allergy pills, which makes... Oh, you're right. I forgot Bob was allergic to cats. Mr. Business, you want to be the next chef cat, cat food cat? No one is eating cat food. Okay, God, why would even say that? <laughs> no one... <laughs> yeah, no one. You're just <laughs> fucking admitting it, self admitting it. Oh my god, they're still fucking eating this. Mr. Business, I know you're probably oh tired of me trying to get you to knock over that stupid jar. I get it. That is a massive I, I cat, like I already just realized. Either. That's why I have my own restaurant. So don't do it because I want you to. Do it for you. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm sure that you're gonna be able to raise him with the fucking cat. World. Move away from Gail. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I know you like her. She's nice. So what do you okay. say? Huh? You you want to go knock over a jar? Hmm? Who wants to knock the jar over? You do. Oh my god! Is it? <laughs> Holy shit! I honestly did not expect that fucking motivation. <laughs> oh my god! I honestly didn't expect this fucking motivational speech by Bob to be what worked. 
Oh, Bob, Linda, Gail, um, what are you doing here? Oh my god, did they already find a replacement? Look, I, I know there was an incident the other day with Mr. Business, but we've been working together, and you won't believe this, but he's actually able to knock over the spices. Right. Oh my fucking god, I knew it. That cat is a loose cannon. <laughs> I mean, he's not, not wrong anymore, though. Ian, that I cat is him. kind of wild. Please, Bob, you're not a professional. Oh, so you're just gonna help any cat who looks like Chef Cat? Is that yeah, it? pretty uh, much. Oh, Bob, I'm going to help Jessica. And oh, I'm, I get with way, that. In a serious, committed relationship with Fluffy now. <laughs> so you get people. <laughs> so I mean, I guess Bob. I guess they could just have to do it on their own, which that's probably not a terrible idea. Calm down now. You know what? We're going to that audition without you, Ian. Okay. We are? Yes, we are, Gail. I am going to get Mr. Business to knock over that spice jar in front of the judges. Okay, but with you, shit. Whatever. But he's going to be good at it. He's great at it. Occasionally. Once. You won't stand a chance, Bob. Oh, wait, did they only do it once? I thought they would at least do it a couple more times before... They, you know, go back to the sky. Up, uh, up, uh, there's Gail. I'm at, time to go. Come on, kids. Time to go. I'm about to go from meow to me rich. Okay. Let's go team business. Hell yes. Wow. A lot of people. Fuck me. That is a lot of... How many... They all look like I was going to say, how many cats could possibly be here that look the same? But I guess it's not that out of ordinary. Oh, I'm worried about this, Bob. Something's wrong. Uh, Louise, uh, didn't you want to go get a soda? I mean, to be fair, though, the fairy is coming off the cat, that is probably a problem. Someone to go with you. Oh, right, 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 yes. And Gail, will you please go to the soda machine with me? You push the button so Yes, you, she does, apparently. Three samples of cat food. Look, there's mom. Let's ask her to chain us up like werewolves to protect us from ourselves. What the fuck? She's eating it as well. Okay, maybe I'm guessing that's where they get their desire for cat food. <sighs> Gimme. <laughs> Mom, was that your box of shark cat? Wait, no sink? fucking way. Yeah, so watch. I like to have a little cat food to relax every once in a while. Okay then, that's a bit weird. I, I, I thought it was weird that Gail somehow managed to leave cat food there and that it was underneath the sink. Like in the cupboard. Alright, big guy, where Is Mr. Business gone? Wait, what the where? fuck? Oh my god. Ian took Mr. Business! No, I feel like it's... My baby! I, I feel like it was Gail that took him, not... That guy. Mr. Business! Mr. Business! Oh my god, all you cats look the same! <laughs> Sorry. Dad! Louise, someone took Mr. Business. What? Wait, wh where's Gail? Yeah, I got a feeling it was Gail. Oh my god, Ian didn't take the cat. Yeah, it was Gail. How are we gonna find her? <laughs> okay, I guess that's how. That could- I, I feel like if Gail doesn't have, want to do this anymore, you might as well just not force her. But I'd be annoyed after the whole lending her money for this thing. What flights was that? One. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, oh. Are you gonna die right now? Maybe. It looks like it. I'm hiding up here. It's just me. The okay. Janitor. <laughs> sure. Because I'm sure the janitor Brim. sounds exactly oh. like you. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Okay. Oh my God, Bob. It's really not that bad. Hi. Gail, what are you? What, what are you doing? Sit. I uh, yes. So we're gonna miss our audition time. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay, all right. This has been fun, but listen, I need to get my client down to the audition stat. Do you want to talk about why you're crying? I just get sad when Mr. Business gets sad. Okay. Uh, he, he's sad? Yes, Bob. He licked the fur off his belly. Look at it. You can see his... I mean, yeah, to be honest, though, no, that, that does seem like a problem. A little stressed out. A little stressed yeah. out. Like, I could understand Bob and that being annoyed and that because they, they lent her money. But, like, if the cat's doing shit like this, then I guess probably for the best to not put the cat in this stressful situation. You borrow a lot of money from us. Like, a lot. I do? Yeah. And that's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. But it bothers Linda a little bit. Oh. But this could be a chance for you to make a little money for yourself. And you could get a better apartment. What's or wrong with my apartment? Nothing. I love it. <laughs> or you could go... So, but seriously, how the fuck is she paid for their apartment if she's not earning, like, any money? Okay, let's go home. Yeah, sure, sure. Just let me borrow the cat for, like, 15 minutes and then I'll be right back. Not for an audition. Yeah, she's totally not for an audition. No. Fine. <laughs> I'll trade you. Oh my god, they're still fucking eating this cat food. Are the rest of them just gonna turn up and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yes. Hi guys, so, uh, some news. Things didn't- Oh, oh my god. Lynn, you're still doing this? <laughs> Wait, he knows about it? Don't judge me. You watch sports sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I feel like oh, this is Tina, a different situation. Not me! Why in the world would you <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? Strong nails, a healthy shiny coat, confidence That's for a cat, not a person. 
Honestly, they say more unhinged than Gale in this situation. Oh, that is so disgusting. Yeah, it oh, is. Is. It in, is it so disgusting? I get. Well, yes. I guess everyone's oh, God, doing it. Yes. Oh, what is wrong with all of you? <laughs> Keep eating that. You'll get it. Okay. No, I won't. Oh wait. There it is. Never mind. Oh yeah. yeah. Hmm. That's good. Yeah. Isn't this like dry cat food as well? So surely this would take disgusting. Bye bye, Bob. Bye bye, him. <laughs> Oh my god, is he actually just gonna be doing this all the time now? Oh, Mr. Dizzins, you are killing me. Okay, there we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, and I guess Bob's training or whatever this cat actually worked. That was actually a very good episode. What the fuck? Honestly, I, I actually expected Tina to act full on shit herself at school. Which, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be that surprising, to be honest, but considering she went to school with diarrhea, which, I mean, fuck that. So, like, did any of these people go to class at all? Because, like, it seemed like Jade was in the cafeteria basically the entire day with that, like, lunch lady. And then Tina was basically on the toilet the entire day. And then, like, just went in the class and said, oh, yeah, Jimmy Jr., let's go. Which, at first, I thought Jimmy, when she walked in there and saw the trampoline, Jimmy Jr. was going to be like, oh, yeah. I just wanted everyone to come and jump on the trampoline. I didn't, like, I, for a second, I thought it wasn't anything to do with Valentine's Day. I mean, I got, but I, I mean, I guess I got that wrong. But the fucking hip-hop classes, that was... The weirdest thing ever. Is that like what hip hop dance classes are actually like? They try, the instructor tries to act all cool in that by, you know, doing the most cool thing on earth, sitting on a chair backwards. I swear to God, that's like the most yes fellow kids type thing I've ever seen. And I felt so bad for fucking Rudy in that episode though. Like, holy shit. I don't know, I don't know if we've seen that girl in another episode before, but she was kind of an arsehole. Like, I'm guessing that once they get to high school, she's gonna be the stereotypical fucking, like, popular girl or whatever. That's the type of attitude she has when she's in, like, what, year four? No, but it was interesting though. It seemed like Louise was kind of, like, disappointed the fact that Rudy didn't actually like her. Like, she seemed kind of freaked out about it at first, but when she found that he actually didn't. I don't know, she just seemed very disappointed Pointed. So is that like does she have a thing for him? I don't know. No, but yeah, I felt so bad for Rudy though because the fact that girl was just using him for the fucking quiz answers. I mean, I don't blame him for falling for that though, to be honest. Because you know he's like what nine. <laughs> but the fact that Tina at the end managed to figure out a way to do it with the fucking stilt swings. Is that what they called? Which how the hell did she manage to actually work out how to walk in them? I tried them once when I was in like. Year five or something. For some reason, we had a bunch of circus equipment at my school. In, like, a storage unit. And then the stilts were in there. And the teacher was like, oh, yeah, so let's learn how to walk on these. And I only fucking broke my neck. Because I fell off. I fell over. But, I mean, yeah, that was, that was honestly... I'm not sure if I... Honestly, this was probably one of the best episodes of this season. I'm not sure if it's my favourite, but this was just as good as last episode, in my opinion. Interestingly enough, I noticed that they have, there's been a couple of episodes where they didn't play the intro. They just went straight to it. Which, I mean, that's actually quite cool, because there's more content, obviously. I'm not gonna lie, though. At first, I was so fucking confused why the cat needed, like, an agent and all that. But I guess it does actually make a lot of sense if it's for, like, commercials and, like, photo shoots and all that shit. I didn't even think about the fact that, you know, they would need cats to be in these ads and shit. I mean, that guy, though... The manager or whatever he was, agent, I mean. I thought he was all right at first, but at the end there, he kind of turns into a bit of a prick. I mean, I could understand him being annoyed at that specific cat, considering, you know, it fucking attacked him, but... No, but yeah, I could understand Bob, you know, being insistent, Mr. Business or whatever has to do this audition, considering all the money that Gail apparently borrows off them. I do agree that if the cat doesn't like it and is getting, like, stretched, stressed out and, like, lick licking its fur off and shit, then it's probably not the best to put it in that situation. Because, like, at first, I was like, yeah, okay, just make the cat go in. Like, like considering all the money that Gail owes Bob. But I do, I do agree that just don't stress the cat out. You know, do what's best for the fucking cat. But, oh, my God, that weird B-plot kind of... Was it? Yeah, it was not really a B-plot, but with Jean and Tina fucking eating cat food, which I thought it was weird that there was just cat food in there, like, under their sink or whatever, in the cupboard. But the fact... That it was, you know, Linda that had it in there because she eats it as well as insane. So, apparently eating cat food just runs in this family. Which, that sounds disgusting, though. Like, cat food and that... Like, God only knows what the fuck they put in this food. Because they probably just put random parts of animals, like, that are left over. From, like, you know, meat and that, that they cut for people. Why do I feel like they put just the rest of the animal that they don't want in the... To the fucking pet food? But, yeah, like, okay, another question I have is how the fuck... Like, how does Gail and that, like, how does she have an apartment or that if she has no way of making money? 
Like, because obviously she borrows a lot of money off Linda and Bob, which is kind of fucked. And I would be annoyed as well if I had to constantly lend someone money, which when they weren't like 100% guaranteed to give it back. How does she pay her bills and like rent and all that shit is what I want to know. I don't know how, I, when I was reading the title of the episode, I completely forgot about the fact that the cat's name is Mr. Business. Because it's been ages since the episode where the cat was in last. Wasn't it that Thanksgiving episode in the snow? <laughs> when Gail had fucking taped the box shut with him in it, like. I mean, though, I'm actually quite impressed, though. Bob somehow was actually able to teach his cat how to do that. It's a pity that the cat, you know, didn't, apparently didn't want to be in this situation. Because Mr. Business or whatever would have probably fucking run, won. Considering that he was just doing it at Gail's house constantly. I mean, I don't know. I don't really have anything else to say, to be honest. It was a really good episode. I enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.